Mike Schmitz of ESPN. We're here with Carlo Matkovic of Mega. Uh, we're in Belgrade, just finished up a practice playing Sibona tomorrow. Uh, Carlo, you've had kind of a breakout, you know, last couple seasons really showing some things as a finisher, as a shot blocker. Um, what's allowed you to, you know, improve so much over these last couple years? Well, look, uh, I had a really good teammates. Uh, I think they pushed me a lot. I had uh, Philip, I had Simonovic last year. I think they're like very good for my uh, improvement. Like, they're good players and I, I think like practicing with them like helped me improve a lot. Like, really a lot because they pushed me a lot. Uh, I think with Coach Lade, like he's a like perfectionist, like he want like do everything like perfect. So I think that's like a big, big thing for me. So for people watching who maybe have never seen you play, you know, how would you describe yourself as a player? Well, I'm I'm a big center, like I'm athletic, like I run to, up and down, like fast breaks and everything, like a uh, rebounder, uh, shot blocker, like trying to do everything for my team, pick and roll player. Who did you like to study when you were when you were young? Study, uh, not not really study. Like I like to watch like a little more. Like just LeBron, the Kumpo. Like I like to play. Like I don't know, it's like highlights and everything like that. But like I love the most. So. Who got you into basketball? Why did you first uh, start playing? My best friend. My best friend. Yeah. Like uh, in the seventh grade, uh, he went on the basketball practice and like. Let's hang out a little bit more, and like I was like, okay, I'll go with you, and like I tried, and I had fun. With it, so. Did you play any other sports growing up? Uh, taekwondo. Ah, okay. And, and that's it. Like maybe one, one and a half year. You were good or no? Well, I was solid. <laughs> I don't know, like yellow something. Like, yellow belt. Well, yeah, yellow belt. Okay. That's okay. I mean, probably. I don't know. <laughs> where does your your size, your length, your athleticism? Where does uh, it come from? I think where it's come from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my my dad is like. 195 my mom is like 175 so like and like my uncles like they're all 190 something like that so i kind of think like your parents were athletes or no no like regular people <laughs> like dad's policemen so like <laughs> nothing that is special yeah uh you have brothers sisters uh older brother he's like two meters two and uh younger sister she's like 2005 and 190. oh yeah she's tall yeah she's playing basketball or no no she's dancing Okay. Yeah, she likes that. So. She tried it, but she didn't like it. And, and so what about kind of your background in terms of where you're from, where you grew up? Um, I grew up in a small city, Libno, in Boston, Herzegovina, and um, till like 15 or 16 years, and I went to Zagreb to play for Servita. And after that, like after three years, I came here to Belgrade to play for Opeta, and then I came here a year later, after like two years now. Uh, what type of player were you in Servita? Uh, I think the same. I think the same. I just don't like... Run up and down, like fast breaks, like block shots, and like make pick and rolls. But I think that improved like, a lot from that day. And then you played for the Bosnian national team when yeah, you were younger? For U18. Okay. Like two or three, if I remember. <laughs> That's like good experience for me. Like I'm to push myself to see like something new. So to scouts to see me and everything. Is, so is really that a goal forward. moving forward or no? Or maybe to play in Croatia? Cro oh. The goal is to play for Bosnia moving forward or, or no? Uh, I'm going to play for Croatia. Okay. Like, yeah, because like my nationality, like basketball nationality was Bosnian, but like I'm Croatian, like my family is Croatian and everything, so like I want to play for Croatia now, so yeah. like I have opportunity now, so. For sure. So uh, the thing that stands out most to me about you is you're a very positive person. You're always... Yeah, I always try to keep like a smile on my face, like keep some good energy, like I'm an energetic player, like I like to be like everywhere. I'm like I'm positive every time. Any time, like like talk a little bit with everyone. You know, like it's positive, like good energy. Like, Friendly guy. Yeah, yeah, very good. You've always been like this. But pretty much, like I try to be like more friendly. Like uh, my family is like that, so probably like because of that. I don't know. So your parents are that way. Yeah, 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 they're all like, hey, hello, like to everyone. So like, I don't know, maybe that's like. What are the biggest things you think you still need to improve? My shot, my uh, my body. I think my body the most. Yeah. Yeah, because like, I, I know my, my mistakes where I need to improve. Like in low post with big guys, like I know I need to be like tougher and like stronger a little bit to get some weight and uh, I don't know, maybe pick and pop shots. Like I shoot mid range on the practice and everything, like three points, like I'm practicing on it. So like, I think that, that will be good for stretch out for NBA or 
any other league. Do, do you know where you're at physically? Your height, your weight, your wingspan? Um, my weight is like 109 kilos. Mm -hmm. uh, height is 208 centimeters. And wingspan, I think, uh, 215 or 216 or something. And, and nowadays, in today's NBA, you're seeing a lot of guys, you know, step out and switch, pick and roll. Yeah. Do you think that's something you can do? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm athletic, like, I should, like, guard from one to five, like, positions, for sure. What are the keys to being a, a good pick and roll defender? Whether it switches or, you know, you guys are icing a lot, I hear. Yeah, we have, we have, have a ice a lot, but, like, it depends on the player you guard. So, if you're a shooter, you're going to be, like, more up. Or, like, if he's a popper, you can stay up and like, follow. Or, it's, it's all about, I think, brain more than like uh, athleticism and everything. Are you watching a lot of film then? You're doing a lot of study? Yeah, we're doing a lot of study with coaches and everything. Like after every game, like we're, we're there like for two hours maybe like and watching everything. So every mistake we go through it, like we're trying to do it in practice again. Improve. Who are the toughest players you, you've had to defend in your career maybe? In my career? Uh, I think last year, Noko. Noko was no, Noko. Was, big body. Yeah, big body, tough. Like I like to play that. Like I played really good actually, and I think like that was a really fun uh, sequence. Like the three games, it was really really good. Can you feel yourself gaining more confidence the more success that you uh, have? It's... Yeah, yeah. Like I had my ups and downs this season, but like I I feel like I feel my confidence. Like I think I can do like what I want to do, like what I need to do. So. And then what about like? You know, we talked about pick and roll defensively, offensively, like when you catch in the short roll, you know, and, and um, how good of a passer are you and where can you still improve maybe? Uh, I think I can improve a lot, like a lot as a passer. Like I love to pass the ball, like I like to have a good pass and everything, like, but I think I like, like need to be like, a little bit more calmly, like when I receive the ball, like, stay a little bit, like, to look, like not to rush everything. And you talked about your shooting, right? And we see you shooting mid-range. And yeah. uh, what do you think are, are the keys for you um, to continue extending your range and, and become more I consistent? Think practice a lot. Just practice, like and like implementing the game, like later on. Like, true practice, true practice, true practice. We got some like if if I have maybe a good game, like I'll shoot a three point. But, like against Budusha, I remember I shot one ball, and like I was in the rhythm, like I was alone. Okay, I'm gonna shoot. Like I shoot in practice, why not? So. Is there anyone you watch? We talked about studying, but is there anyone you watch in the NBA and you say maybe I could be that type of player? Uh, right, Pavel, I think from uh, okay from Mavericks. I think I can be like almost the same because like he like shorts pops like block shots like he's always in the rim like I think like he's a good player like so I can match up with him. Yeah, playing with energy, mm, similar yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah, and he played with Luca like Luca is a good passer and everything like I think if I like. With screens, with roll, like I think I can open for two guys, like the basket season. So, is the goal for you? Obviously, I know you can enter the draft this year. Or is that a goal yeah. for you? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, for my goal is to be like the best I can be and get where I like. I can get like the max, and uh, we're gonna see like. I don't know, just stay healthy, and we'll see like the progress and practice, 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 and so we'll see. Yeah. Where will I get me? Of course, and and then you know Jovic, your teammate, another guy who's draft yeah. eligible in this year. How would you describe him as a player? He's like talented, like crazy talented. Like he's tall and he's like a guard, and like it's like mismatch, mismatch guy, like KD or something like. It's like, and he's a really good guy. That's like the the most thing I like about him. He's like good guy, like really friendly, like always laughing and everything. He want to help everybody. Like he's a really good guy. So, what type of player you think you'll be in five years? Well, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Like, I really don't know. I think, like, I would love to be, like, at the best level possible for five years. But if not, what can I do? And, like, I will try to be the best that I can do and, like, not to be, like, later on, like, disappointing myself. Like, I give everything that I can and, like... Anything you like to do off the court, uh, aside uh, from basketball? I, I like to, like, hang out with them a lot. Like, we go to cinemas. And, uh, I like to play video games. Not too much, but, like, I like that. Like, my friends from Bosnia, because, like, we can't connect too much, but we play video games. And, like, I like to draw a little bit. I like that. What do you draw? Uh, I like anime a lot <laughs> and cartoons, and I like to draw that. Like, I don't know, that's my, like... And then you... It's your hobby. I like a little bit. Uh, yeah, you're a busy guy. Yeah, classic. <laughs> And, and your dad is a policeman where? In, yeah, uh, in, in Boston? In Boston, yeah, yeah. So your whole family is in your hometown? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, except brother, brother was now in Germany. He works there with, his uncle, with our uncle. So. Oh, what does he do? Uh, I don't know. He drives something, like, gets something, stuff from somewhere to somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But he, he likes it. He loves it. So, like, he's a worker, so 
Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, you have, you have the energy, the personality that you know teams are looking for in a in a big man. So yeah. Yeah, I think you bring those qualities, right? Uh, I, like I try, <laughs> I try. Yeah, I try. I try to be more positive and like laugh every time, like when I can. Maybe more if you work, but like when I can laugh, I can laugh. Like. Great. Well, well, Carlo, thank you so much for the time and best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you so much.